It all started with an email that I got from the IRS e-news for small business. I get in my inbox periodically from the IRS to help me with my small business. So this particular video is going to go over how this email prompted me to use a great new feature in Outlook 2007 to help me keep on top of the tax deadlines that as a small business owner I need to be aware of. So I got this email from the IRS and I'm scrolling through it and I see in number six get your 2008 IRS tax calendar for small businesses and the self-employed. So I click on that link takes me down a little bit further into the email and it says the online calendar can be downloaded and imported into Outlook and iCal. So I thought wow okay that's great this is perfect and it allows me to use the new feature in Outlook that allows me to look at internet calendars and, and um, I'll show you how that's done. So I'm going to click on online calendar. It launches my browser, takes me to this page on the IRS website and I scroll down and I see I've got due dates and actions by month so I think this is going to be very helpful. I scroll down and I see some instructions and it says import text calendar into Outlook, download the text calendar due dates and actions and import them into Outlook. So I thought okay that's kind of interesting. So I click on that and it lets me know that it's going to create a CSV file or a comma separated value file which again I could import not import yes I could import that into Outlook no matter what version so this is perfect for pre Outlook 2007 um, users but I didn't want to do that I wanted to look at the iCal functionality so I hit my backspace and then I said I clicked on the link that said import text calendar into iCal download the text calendar and due dates and actions and import them into iCal so I click on that and it does say Mac iCal users text calendar dates downloading instructions I'm not using a Mac but again now look 2007 it recognizes the ICS format so I'm going to click on this link and well before I do we take a little bit of look at to the instructions that it says so it talks about how to import it and um, uh, you know click OK add the advance which might be great and that's my, that might be how Mac users have to do it but again I just wanted to see how easy it was with Outlook 2007 it does let you know that there are over a hundred events in this calendar and if you choose to import the calendar all of the events will be imported into your calendar however if I had just click on the ICS file I'm going to say open again I'm an Outlook 2007 user and notice what it does it puts the calendar SBSE which I believe probably stands for small business self-employed uh, calendar right next to my own calendar in Outlook. So I'm going to uncheck my calendar. Notice that it says SBSE right down here and I can actually see all of the items, the calendar items and the things that I have to be aware of on this calendar. Now I could change that to say something else like I'm going to right click on that I'm, I'm going to say rename and I'm going to call this the small whoops, small business self employed tax calendar so I've just renamed that and again I can see all of these items now when you're looking at an ICS calendar like this they don't have the uh, reminders and things like that so if I wanted to be reminded of these items or when they're getting, getting ready to come up I could just open it up and set the reminder in my Outlook to let's do this one this one is for today actually so I'm just gonna say five minutes and when I click five minutes and say save and close it says here it starts 6 to 7 a.m. not that that really um, matters but when I hit save and close I should automatically get a pop-up so I'm gonna say save and close 
there's my pop-up reminder. So as long as I go in and set up reminders on each of these items, I will get a pop-up reminder in my Outlook just as if it was in my own calendar. That is because Outlook 2007 reminders now fire in all folders in your Outlook besides public folders for an Exchange server. But uh, it it's really a great the great new functionality again. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, that Outlook 2007 reminders now fire in all places. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna say dismiss right here. But as you can see, it makes it very easy for me to uh, keep on top of the tax items that I have to keep on top of being a self-employed business person. Now I could keep it in a separate calendar like this if I wanted to, or if I wanted to copy them and um, to my regular calendar, I could. Just be aware, again, there's over 100 items in this calendar, and it would intermingle with the rest of my calendar items. So if that works out well for you, then that's great. And the way I would normally copy and move items from one calendar to another, you can't really do it in this um, uh, day, week, month type of view. So I changed the view to something like um, by category. Now, in a table style view, I just click on any one of them, and I'm going to do a control A to select all, and then I would go up to edit, copy to folder, and I would choose my regular calendar folder, and I would say OK. Not that I'm going to do that, because I actually want to keep it separate in this separate calendar. So again, really great functionality that Outlook 2007 brings to the table, allowing you to view other calendars uh, with uh, via the ICS format. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this uh, tip and have a great day and I'll see you next time.